All right, the man, the myth, the legend, the Suzuki SX4 expert is gonna show you how to install a Android radio in a Suzuki SX4. The first thing you have to do is you have to have some sort of implement to pull the plastic trim pieces off. And this is literally the hardest part of the whole job. You have to work it very carefully up. Notice this is a plastic tool. And you like wiggle and pry very carefully because you do not want to break these. This is literally the hardest part of this whole job is getting these two off and especially at the top here, just like that. There's one. Start at the bottom, you can just pry it out a little bit and then work your tool in there and just slowly work it up very carefully. Oh, there it is. This is literally the hardest part of the whole job without breaking these things. There it is, look at that. Screwdriver, take these four out. One, two, three, four. Gently wiggle and pull this out. You want to disconnect the GPS wire. You want to press this tab and release the blue. Press this tab, release that, and the radio is out. Place that somewhere safe. Remove these two screws. These are all the same as the other four. These go into plastic, the other four go into a metal clip. And then what you do is you pull this back slightly. You can see there's two little alignment dowels right here. Pull this back ever so slightly, and this whole assembly pulls straight back. And what I do is I turn it 90 degrees, or just enough so that I can get up to the top here, and I place the GPS puck I peel the tape. This is the second hardest thing to do get the tape off. Oh, this one's not liking to unpeel. There we go. And then what I do is I put it about halfway on this pad because if you put it on too far, it'll actually interfere with the clips. Oh, so see, this is not sticking. Oh, I think I peeled the adhesive off or they did a bad job on that. All right, I'll have to get back to that. We'll leave that off for now. Or we'll just temporarily place it up top for now just to show for the video but reach your hand in from underneath and you can reach in and you can feel the gps wire pull that through and then for now i'm just going to place that down in there so it can get a signal and then what i do is i make a loop out of this thing loop 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 and then I take a zip tie or a tie wrap and I make a loop around it. And then up in here, there's a piece of metal you can wrap this tie to. And that keeps the wire up somewhat supported. So that it doesn't get 
so it doesn't fall down in. And you have to have just enough of a service loop so it can reach the back of the radio. Next, we're almost done. We place this back in, snap that in, put the two screws back in. Don't forget these, I have done that before. It makes it difficult because then you have to take the GPS or the Android back out. Make sure this is all snapped in. These do not have to be super tight because if you go too tight, you'll strip the plastic. Next, you attach the blue cable to the blue harness in the car. Note the alignment of the tab. It only goes one way, snaps in. We're almost done. Next, we have to, because this has the Garmin package, we have to disconnect the Garmin FM modulator from the car's original antenna, which is now here. This is the car's antenna. You can either take this out or leave it in for this demonstration. I'm just gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna tuck it back in there. I also like to run one USB. So run the USB down the passenger side. There's a little spot you can run it. And then what I do is I bring it right up in here. I've taken this out because I was working on the shift linkage, but I run it up here and I leave it right here. This is a six pin connector. It plugs into the only six pin on the back of the Android. Only one way. There it is. This only goes in one spot. This is everything else. This is power, ground, and all the speakers and the steering wheel controls. That plugs in. You don't have to do anything with this. You do want to hook up the GPS antenna now to the GPS connection right here. And it screws on. It has to be screwed on straight, but not stripped or cross-threaded. And you'll know when it's all the way tight. And then the last thing is, is the FM antenna, AM FM antenna. Plug it in, try not to wrap wires around. And it plugs in the back, only spot. One spot, and then this goes in here. There's two alignment dowels there and there. You can also tell because the volume controls are on the left. And this goes here, and then you put your four screws in. And I never tighten anything until all four are in. So you can make sure everything snaps in place. And this one actually looks like there's some damage on the glass right there. So I might have to do a uh, eBay return or request for assistance. I've bought six of these from Kuhn Fine is the brand. I think some people also call it Confine. It's K-U-N-F-I-N-E. They're $90 each. It's the basic model. It comes with uh, $25 for shipping. But if you buy three of them, it's still $25. Okay, once these are all snug, again, you don't want to over-tighten. Just snug them up. <clears throat> and then, literally, you are done. You can snap these in. They snap in left and right. Right in the holes. And they literally you go in, and what I do is I push them all gently, all at the same time. So they all snap in. Same on this side. And you are done. Let's turn it on. This is literally the first time this thing's been turned on, ever. And some of these boot up instantly, and some do require a, this one's an instant boot. So this is just the basic screen. And that is all.